What's up guys? So for the next part in this tutorial series, what we're going to be making is we're going to be adding what move the computer wants to make in order to stop the player from actually winning. So in order to do that, we have to create a variable, call it opval. It's going to store the opponent's value inside of it. So it'll be val times negative one. And then we're going to loop through all the possible squares in the tic-tac-toe board. So we'll do the same thing as above for i in range three. And then for j in range three as well. Oops. And then we're going to make a copy just like before. So for b copy equals copy dot deep copy of board vowels. Good, I guess we have an extra pair of parentheses we can take out. And then and then we'll say if b copy of i and j is equal to zero. Then we are going to say if is game over of b copy then we'll add pieces on board and it'll be a new piece that is j times 200 and then i times 200 and it will say false just like above and then we'll say if val is equal to negative one else pieces on and then we can, we'll just copy this and we'll change the false to true okay so actually we forgot one line up here we want to actually add that that new like test up above this um, very last if statement, so we'll put them in right between. And we will say b copy is going to equal op val, and then it'll check that board copy to where it, it's basically seeing if the opponent goes in a certain square on the board, will the opponent win? And then if they will win, what we're going to do instead is we're going to say, no, oh, whoops, we just say b copy i j, and then if this returns true. Then we're going to say b copy of i and j is going to equal is going to equal val. So we're basically checking right here. We're going to plug in the opponent's value and see if that leads to a win. And if it does, we're going to overwrite it with the computer's value. So the computer will see, okay, if the if the player goes in this specific square, they'll win. So we're going to block them off by going in there before they can. And then we're just going to return B copy. So now it'll check, it'll first check if there's a winning move it can make. If there is, then it will take that. If there isn't, it'll see if there's a move that it can make that'll prevent the player from winning. And if there is, it'll perform that move. Otherwise, it's going to select something random. So let's run this and see what happens. So let's go in here, we'll say, we'll go X, we'll make it one player, computer goes there. Now if I go right here, the computer will crash because that's how life goes. Um, so apparently there's a mistake somewhere right here. So pieces on board. Oh, we have to just say dot append. Oops. And then also let's check right here, pieces on board dot append. Pieces on board dot append. Okay, so now let's run this and try one more time. So we'll go right here, X, computer goes right there. All right, let's say I want to go right here, the computer did the correct move by blocking me from winning. Now I'm going to block the computer. He's going to go somewhere random. I'll block him again. He'll block me and then I block him. And so that's a full game. Nobody won. Let's try this one more time. Start over. 
I'll go here this time. He goes up there. Let me go right here. He blocks me off. I block him. He blocks me. I block him. He blocks me, and then it's a tie again. Um, there's like one way where you can start the game and almost always win, where if you start in the top right corner, or just start in any corner, so this one's top left, he goes somewhere random. If I go across from it, he'll block me off. Uh, but I can't actually do what I was trying to do. Okay, I'll, I'll stop him. He stops me. I stop him. He stops me. I stop him. So it's it's the computer is actually getting a lot better now because now it's not very easy to actually win. Let's try this one more time. Start over. I'll start here. It goes there. Go here. He blocks me. Oh god. There, there. No turn. Let's see if we can beat him. He goes there. I'll go here. He's there, there. Go there. He goes there. Hmm. So yeah, guys. I mean, it's already getting a lot better. I mean, in theory, we could end it right here. That's basically all the logic we need to have it be relatively challenging. I guess next, what we could do is change the order to where sometimes the computer will go first instead of the user always going first, and then we can have like more customizability. Off to the right, we can have an actual display screen that'll say game over, it'll say who's winning, maybe have a button that says one player, two player. That's stuff we're going to be working on next. But as you can see, the logic for the computer is, is fully sound as of right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. Leave a comment suggesting what you guys want to see next. And yeah, catch you guys next time. Peace.